We found traces of blood in room 7 of Keaton Hall. Is it Neve's blood? Your comment. It's about your ex-wife. What did you think had happened when Victoria went missing? Thought she walked out on us. She struggled being a mum. What did she say? Nothing important, love. Where did you stay? Tom's. I need you to be straight with me, because I've been here before. I can't see the kids go through that again. Something's happening to me, Dad. I've started disappearing. What will happen if you bury me? The GHB screwed with my memory. I don't think it's the drugs. Like, maybe you're all right about facing what's happened. How could you just let him go? The CPS didn't feel there was a strong enough case to charge. What about forensics? What about the, the belt? What belt? We've never released any information about a belt. The police will never give me justice. I have to get it myself. Uh, that sound. Uh. <laughs> Sleep. You're up early. Bloody cockle don't know it's Saturday, does he? Yeah, plugs, I keep telling you. Oh. I should get in the shower. I should join you. You're in a good mood. I guess the new pills are working. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. I know. They are, though. I haven't felt this good in years. Kind of feels like I'm waking up. <laughs> we should get away sometime. No, we can somewhere, just the two of us. Yeah, yeah, when work calms down a bit. I've been thinking. I know. It's been a while since we talked about it, but... Maybe it's time to start trying again. <laughs> I knew you were broody. Oh, I... You always wanted three. I know you got a lot on, but maybe after that. God, I should get going. Um, you know, I'm, I might have to work late tonight. You're joking. I know, I know. I said I'd show the Wyatts the hall, and it's the only day both William and Michael could manage. Mom! Uh, uh. Mom! Why is he taking so long? He's coming now. Shh, shh, shh. Happy birthday! Oh! <laughs> Hey! Happy birthday, Dan. Ew. Ew! Open this! You really thought I'd forgotten, didn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, as I said, if you just put them in the fridge when you get back, and here's your change. All right? Sorry, what were we saying? Here you go, love. Thanks. Victoria. I'm so sorry, I know. I was supposed to drop it off last night. Then you must be thinking you've not got him anything. It's fine. Thanks for bringing it. My fault. And the eardrinks. I lost track of time. Can I, uh... Yeah, of course. <laughs> it was this one, Dan Light, right? Uh, he couldn't take his eyes off it when we came to that show when you were. It's a favourite of mine, too. Thick. 
Forgot something? Uh, can you even walk in a straight line? <laughs> Cheers. I'm an idiot. She letting you come to the party? Well, I promised I'll be on my best behaviour, so... I'm already in the shit with Dan for leaving him with the kids all day. Ooh, bad parents club. <laughs> we're due our AGM soon. I've had a messy night in far too long. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> so this is everything I could dig up from the council on the hall. Um, blueprints, planning permits. It'll take a while to sort through. Uh, there's no rush. Thanks for that. Me and Michael used to muck about in here when we were kids. It's weird to think we're going to own it. I came here once and your dad chased me off with a garden hose. Oh, yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> Look at us, eh? Hotshot architect, future hotelier. Lord of the manor. <laughs> OK, so... Michael this... can't make it. Something's come up. Right. I am really sorry. It doesn't matter. I've got tons of party stuff to sort out anyway. OK. Oh, oh my gosh. You're a lifesaver. Ah, uh, no worries. I'm sorry about earlier, by the way. Standing you up at the hall. You're forgiven. Ah, oh, I got caught up on a job. It was one of those days, you know? Mm. There's some plastic ones somewhere. Drink? Uh, I'll sort myself. Here. Hey, hey, sweetheart. What's triggered it this time? Mum, it's not safe. I have to talk about it. Just leave it. You? Babe, could you hand these out for me? Of course. Had enough of us already. I saw you sneaking out. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> hey, do you want a real drink? No, no, I'm on the orange juice. Come on. Oh. Air of the dog, mate. No chance. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a silly slip. Move your hand. <sighs> so this is where the real party is. It's where the real booze is. No, no. I'm getting flashbacks. Us four behind the old petrol station. <laughs> Look how far we've got, mate. Eh? <laughs> Where's your stick? I got my last operation next week, thank God. Uh, that's right, he's bought himself a new bike to celebrate. Seriously? After you nearly killed yourself? You've got to get back on the horse. You're off your head, mate. Can't rely on Tom to pull you out of the wreckage every time. <laughs> I will find a way to pay you back. I owe you. Mum! Come, Mum! Look! <laughs> We're making a video for Dan. Nice little private party, is it? Happy birthday, babe. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, um, I'm not quite sure if it's recording, Max. Couldn't get away. Me were drunk or hungover or both. You know, I've had it with this. We're going into business together and you still haven't signed any papers. Ah, uh, piss off. I can't do this with you. Not with the state you're in. Just chill out, you're overreacting. Oh, I'm buying the hotel on me home. Oh, is this her? She's been poisoning you. She doesn't have to. Just look at you. You're a mess. Now, you need to get your shit together, because I'm not carrying you anymore. William, let's just calm down, Will. You know what? It's none of your bleeding business. Let's just go. You can't leave me out of this! Hey. You OK? Ah, uh, right. I didn't mean to cause a scene. Patty needed livening up. 
and w William wasn't serious. He'll change his mind. He just likes to put me in my place, that's all. Don't worry about it. You just need a strong coffee and a good night's sleep. You know, you've always been good to me. Have you thought about, you know, getting back out there? It's not good for you to be on your own. Well, I've had my moments. Denise is a tough act to follow, you know? Of course. Hey, we had our moments as well, though, didn't we? Back in the day. Cheap side has got a lot to answer for. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, shit. Sorry, I just thought, um... Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. Everything OK? Yeah. Vic? Michael's still grieving. I was just listening. It's not him I'm worried about. I'm fine. You're not, though. I know the signs. We should get back to Amsterdam. All I want from you is to understand what's going on. I am better. You know? I'm not as good as I could be, but I am better. And having another child... I can't go through it again. You know how it affected me after Katie and then Max. And I know we always talked about it when I was ready, and I know that you meant well this morning, but... I just can't do it again. It's... it's OK. I don't want any more children. But why didn't you just tell me? It's fine. We've got two beautiful kids. I don't need anything else. I just want you to get the help you need. I don't want that, Dan. I don't want you to always be trying to help me. And I, I know, I know I've been struggling, and I know it's been hard for you, but I just need you to give me some space so I can find my way through this on my own, in my own time. I just want you to be well. <laughs> I've left your present in the car. Idea, or you're just making a break for it.
What happened to you, Victoria? Everyone said that you just walked out. I couldn't understand why someone would do that. But all that time, you... sound. The scratching. That's your body. It was you. Neve. Your Neve. Is this real? Are you here? Yes. I could feel you ever since you came back. And I, I tried reaching out, but I didn't. Do you know who did this? Do you know why we're here? I didn't understand before what you were, why we were connected, but now I think I do. What am I? We're the same. Who did it? Who killed us? I know it sounds crazy. I know I sound crazy, but Neve was here. Tom, sit down. We've examined your computer. You logged into Neve's social media accounts after her death. I'd like to know why. That was Neve. It should be William Wyatt sat here, not me. Tell me about your relationship with William. We're just friends. More than that. Didn't you save his life back in the day? I helped him after his bike crash. I, I, I called an ambulance, that's all. I'd be pretty grateful if I was him. <sighs> Tom, are you colluding with William Wyatt? Is he covering for you? Are you covering for him? What? No! Tell me about Victoria Sands. What about her? We were mates. We, we all were. We, it's a small town. Was William mates with her too? Not really. You know, he's like throwing his weight around. So she didn't respond well to that? Why didn't you ask him? Hang on. Are you thinking Victoria was... Tom, I need you to start telling me the truth. How did you know about the belt? I already told you. Have you though, Tom? Doesn't matter what I say. I failed her. Now she's gone. Are you releasing him? Not at this stage. He had nothing to do with it. You don't understand. There's a reason he knows what happened to Neve. I know what he's told you. Tom's innocent. You know he is. William Wyatt's out there walking free. Are you just going to let him get away with it? We're not closing any lines of inquiry. But Tom can't go anywhere. Not until we have some answers. You're wasting time. You need to let us do our jobs. Tom's ghost stories aren't helping anyone. Go home, Maria.
I let myself in. Sorry, I should have texted. I heard about Tom. He didn't do it. No, no. You see someone at their worst enough times, you get to see who they really are. There's no way Tom would hurt Neve. Is that why you're here? Nowhere else to go? No. Well, it's just a coincidence, then. It doesn't work out with Tom, so you finally decide to come back to us. No, of course not. It was never like that for me with Tom. I just thought that's what I needed. To feel closer to Neve. But I was all wrong. You can't do this. You can't just come and go whenever you feel like it. It's not fair on the kids. It's not fair on me. I know that. You're grieving too, and, and I shouldn't have shut you out. I'm sorry. But I don't need you to rescue me or fix me. That's not what I need from you. I know you meant well, but it just makes me feel suffocated. Oh, I don't know. I just need to know I can trust you. I need to know you want this to work as much as I do. I want to come home. Grief isn't something that either of us can fix. It'll never go away. All we can do is learn how to live with it. Together. Are you sure you don't remember anything? I hoped you would. I've shown you everything I could. After that, I can't make sense of it. It's all just darkness and pain. I remember waking up down here. You must have thought I was already dead. And I tried to pull myself up the stairs. I was so weak. I don't know what I've become. I started to fade. Couldn't control it. Same thing happened to me. It's like... I was losing control. Everything else was fading away too. After a while, I just... forgot who I was. I forgot my children. But then I felt you. And I started to remember again. Never. Who killed you? Maybe Alex was right. What if it's not that we can't remember? What if it's that we don't want to? Why would we do that? Because we're afraid. a lot to deal with, you know. You don't have to worry about your dad. He's gone. He's never coming back here. Good. Officers found blood at the hotel. It's not Neves. It's older. They're still doing tests. The hotel. Oh, I never understood why he was so obsessed with that place. <laughs> it's been nothing but trouble. I have to go. It's okay, Mum. Feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> it was your dad's birthday, wasn't it? What's this? Oh, I dug a box of old photos out from the attic. I thought it might be nice to look through them together. We found a hard drive with a bunch of videos, too. Your mum, look. I remember that day. Happy birthday, babe. It's the last time we saw her. Actually, um... I'm sorry, Katie. I should never have said what I did. 
It's okay. It's not okay. I should have been here. And the last thing I should have done was take things out on you. I'm not going anywhere. I can't keep losing people. I, I can't do it. I know I'm not your mum. But we are family, aren't we? Yeah. Come on. Let's have a look through everything. Oh. Look. To your mum. Oh, Dad's yeah. birthday. What's this? Oh, my God. It's when you started getting into photography. Everything was always a really weird angle. <laughs> I'm better now. Yeah, now you just blame your camera. It is broken. I was wondering what happened. Look. Just started playing up. Photos kept coming out weird. Oh, my God. William! Would like have a word? I've said everything I want to say to you. Either arrest me or get off my property. Hey, hey. It's a simple question. I thought you had Tom Rees. What are you sniffing around me for again? Just trying to build up a complete picture. If you'd be more comfortable talking down the station... <laughs> this conversation is over. What about Victoria Sands? What about her? You're friends. Is that right? And what's that got to do with Neve? Did Victoria bother you? She was a successful woman, wasn't she? Did she think a bit too much of herself, too? You want to talk to me again? You call my lawyer. Oh, uh, William. Tom Reese says he... Saw Neve after she died. Said Neve spoke to him, told him things. Tom Rees is a drunk. He said you could see her too. Maria, hi. So, what am I looking at here? These marks. Max has been taking lots of photos recently. It's, it's his way of dealing with things. All these. Max took them when he thought he could sense a presence. Has Tom been talking to Max, too? No, you don't understand. I do. Grief plays tricks on us. Makes us see people we've lost in the middle of a crowd, on a bus. It sounds like Tom's been taking advantage of that. He's telling the truth. And this is the closest thing I've got to actual proof. They're Neve. They're all Neve. All I can see are smudges on photos. I know it's a stretch. I know that. I'm just asking you to open your mind for a minute. Look, I'm really sorry, Maria, but I feel that Tom's manipulating you. Alex Wyatt. She can see Neve, and, and she didn't even know her before. Call Alex. She'll tell you the truth. chasing shadows because I couldn't face it. If you don't, you'll end up like me, lost. Don't you want to know the truth? I don't think I can. It's OK. I can do it. I'm stronger now. I'm 
come back in the woods. That night. What's that? It's okay, leave. You won't be alone this time. I'm scared. I'm here, with you. Remember this? Are you thinking about it? No one could ever be good enough for you. You're a fucking head case. No, you don't get to walk away from me. And don't think this is over. Hey! You hear me? Victoria? It's all right, Neve. I'm here. Dad? Alex. What are you doing here? Oh, love. I want the truth. Look me in the eyes and tell me you had nothing to do with Neve's death. to believe that. But you know who it was. You do. Alex, please love, don't. Tell me. Murdered. She was 19 years old and she was choked to death. Can you imagine what that must be like? How scared she must have been. And then her body was just dumped. Just thrown away like she was nothing. How would you feel if that was me? Thank <laughs> you. 
are you doing out here on your own, Neve? Can I have a lift? Yeah, of course, get in. You've been in that party? Yeah. Come here, you have I to be gentle with it. it. I've got it. Where's Joe, anyway? Have you tried a row or something? He broke up. Sorry to hear that. Come on. What are you doing? Calm down. I'm just helping you. I am calm. Fuck off me. Hey, I wasn't touching you. You know what? Forget it. I'll walk. Let me out. Not when you're being like this. Open the door. Sit back and shut up and show some fucking gratitude. If you don't open the door... You'll do what? <laughs> wow. I see where Joe gets his issues. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Come on. Alex, you need to go. What's this? What have you told her? <gasps> Sorry. I, I didn't mean to scare you. What are you doing here? Did you follow me? Back of the house. It was like old times, wasn't it? Me and you. Okay. It's always been me and you, honey, Vic. You're joking, aren't you? Go home, Michael. You're drunk. I was never good enough for you, was I? Jesus, we had a drunken fumble in high school and you followed me around like a puppy ever since. And I try and be nice. I'm, I'm always trying to be fucking nice. Because no one says what they really think around here, do they? What do you really think of me? Get out of my way. You answer me. Get away from me! You think you're better than us? Better than Joe's if you always have? Better than you, that's for sure. You think you can just hit me and get away with it? No. <laughs> Fuck that. Everyone's gonna hear about this. Everyone's gonna know what you are. I feel sorry for you.
can't get away with this. <laughs>